Well, hey, McFly subscribers, I'm back. I'm gonna be making videos again, and I'm super excited. Now, you might be wondering why this RV is in the background. The reason why is I bought it. So, there's gonna be a little changes to the channel, guys. Um, I'm gonna kickstart this back up again and do it right. So, uh, many of you know I stopped the channel about two months. Um, it's been since I made a video. And the reason was is that we were struggling for money, my family. Um, you know, the channel didn't really make a ton of money. It, it made a little bit, but not enough to survive on. And I was working 60 hours a week on the channel. And with my wife's income at, at work, um, it just wasn't enough combined to pay for all of our bills. So we're doing something new. My wife is taking travel nursing assignments. So what we're doing is we bought an RV, this one right here. And I'm gonna show you guys in it just in a few minutes here. Um, but yeah, we bought an RV and we're gonna go travel the United States. Um, she's taking assignments in different parts of the US that pays, generally it pays her about double what she pays or what she gets paid back home. Okay, so we're gonna rent out our house and uh, we're gonna travel for at least a year, hopefully, you know, about that. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more, we're not sure, but within that year, we should be able to pay off all of our student loans and um, actually get this RV paid off at the same time with that extra money. Uh, so, that's what we're doing. And the really cool thing about the channel is I am gonna be moving every three months. So travel nursing assignments are every three months and you go to another, another spot. So that gives me the ability to fish different parts of the United States, show you guys different parts of the United States and um, basically, you know, travel around with me guys. Um, so I'm gonna start putting a little bit more about kind of our living situation too, because I think a lot of you might be interested in kind of RV living and how that works, uh, especially having a family. We've got two kids. We've got a, a five-year-old and a one-year-old, okay? So that way you guys can see how that is. But this is the RV. This is what I'm gonna be living in for the next year. Um, our home base will still be Colorado. So um, if we uh, rent it out fully for the full year, then we won't be back in our home. But I think we're gonna try to do like a VRBO type of thing and rent it out short bursts so that way at the end of the contract we can come back um, stay for a week or two back in our house um, use extra money to fix up the house and stuff like that and, um, and then we can come back to a much nicer home uh, after it's fixed up with less debt and be able to uh, survive in this increasingly difficult environment of uh, work environment and uh, how the economy is, right? Even though it's getting a little better, it's still difficult to live, especially with a couple kids. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so let me uh, take you guys inside and let's go take a look at the RV. It's a little cold here, so I'm kind of shivering. Sorry for the camera moving, but I'll, uh, I'll take you in. All right, guys, so this is the outside of the RV. It's got two slides, one on this side and that side okay there is a second one um, right now i'm actually hooked up at the rv um, place that i bought it at by the way it's a venture rv and they had literally the best deal i could find on something like this so it's a sun seeker forest river sun seeker it's a 2012 now it's got 70,000 miles on it um, looks like it's probably going to need new shocks Okay, but because it was such a good deal, I'll just spend that extra money and get new shocks after this first assignment. Um, we'll have a little extra. Um, so, let's go in. So, driving, com driving area here. And the people that... This was actually on consignment here at this place. And they left a lot of their stuff, like this coffee mug. There's some other, like, pots and pans and stuff. So that's all ours, I guess. 
but yeah um as all these c-classes go there is sleeping up above here this foot's down kind of hard to do it one-handed but that flips down and then that's a bed up there and then there's a ladder here that hooks up and then it's easy to get up really you could just kind of step up like that uh, pretty easily if you're nimble enough storage um, a lot of storage they they really do think about things with rvs like that so storage there more storage, there's pretty much storage everywhere. Storage there, up there, a little bit down there, not much. That's usually where you put like um, knives and spoons and stuff. Um, but yeah, you, you know, basically it's a full living type of thing. Um, I thought this was really cool. A little cutting board that fits perfectly, doesn't move. And then there's the second sink. Um, and they're smart with the way that they build these. Um, again, they left a lot of stuff like these sponges and stuff in there. It's kind of weird, but I'm all right with it. Um, plates and junk, but there's a microwave. There is a cook station that, um, works. Now this thing is broken. They said they're going to fix this before I leave. So that way if that's the, the starter, the electric starter, but you could always just, uh, it's propane. So you just light it with a um, lighter if you need, uh, for now, um, until they fix it for me. But they're, you know, decent fridge. I mean, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but, you know, but it works. Um, so, there are TVs galore. It's pretty cool. There's TV up there. Not that I do a lot of TV watching, honestly. But one there and one in the bedroom. Now, sorry for the messy bed here, but I did sleep in it last night. And because I'm not fully hooked up right now, the, the heater wasn't working too well. So I had my zero degree sleeping bag because it, it got down to 30 degrees last night here. I'm in Napa, California, which was a fun drive. Now there's a little bit of things like this where um, the upholstery is coming loose on this, but it's just a, a pad. You can always get a new pad at one point. It is an older RV. It's 2012, so it's already, what, an eight? years old nine years old or something like that seven years old sorry um that turns into a bed as well so this is really nice i like this layout because that's our bedroom the kids can sleep here our two kids my five-year-old up there one-year-old down there so if she rolls off it's not gonna hurt her you know onto the floor we can always put pillows there and i think they make like a um curtain thing that you can put up that almost like a net that she won't fall out so that's what we're going to do. Um, and then there is a door that separates us from the kids. So that's nice in case mommy and daddy need a little alone time, you know. Um, lots of storage in here. It's the same on that side. Um, you know, storage down there. Storage pretty much everywhere up in here. Um, pretty comfy bed, too. I was surprised at how comfy it was last night. Um, almost as comfy as our main bed. Um now, under here, there's storage as well, which is really cool. So, um, bathroom. Nothing special, but not bad. Hello, guys. So, yeah. By the way, while I've got you here, see that? McFly Angler. It's really hard to show you on my back, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm selling sweatshirts, guys. So that's another thing I'm going to talk to you guys about. Um, need your help and also provide you with some cool stuff for, um, you know, like clothes and shirts and whatnot. Um, but that'll help me support the channel, but it'll also give you guys some cool stuff. But that's the tour. I mean, it's not a big living area, but the nice thing is what we really want is these back bunks because then the kids can go to sleep. They go to bed at like seven and then mommy and daddy can be out here, you know, watching TV, hanging out in the living area, um, you know, and just kind of uh, enjoying life for a little bit, you know, um, while they sleep because we don't go to bed at seven, eight, you know, seven p.m., uh, but the kids do. And we like to try to put them to bed early and then we can kind of hang out for a little bit. Um, there is a, this thing slides so we can actually separate, you know, it's just a little curtain thing. 
where we can separate um, ourselves from the kids. And that'll actually latch. I'm just not going to do it one-handed. Um, and that way we can separate, you know. Um, yeah, but we're really excited, guys. This is going to be fun. So um, a couple things that are going to be logistics that are going to be tough is filming fly tying videos. So I've got this desk here, um, and that's pretty much the only desk in the area. It's the, you know, eating table, and, and then I've got my little um, tray thing that I take, uh, you know, my fly tying desk, I call it, but it's it's like a little uh, tray. Um, and that can be, I can just put that away. I'll find a spot for it. I put it away, and then when I'm ready to tie, I bring it down here and start tying. Um, and then set up the camera right here to film. The only problem is I'm not going to be able to get in quite as tight as I used to. So the quality of the fly tying videos might not be as good. We'll see. I don't know how good I can make it because um, I used to put the camera up over my shoulder and film in. So I'll figure this out. You know, again, those are things I have to figure out, but I'm sure I can make it happen for you guys. So that way I can do some really cool fly tying videos. Um, but maybe it'll be a little bit more of me talking at the camera rather than doing the voiceovers and just kind of filming um explaining what i'm doing maybe a few close-ups um but we'll see we'll see i'll try to figure that out um but yeah that's what we're doing so that way i can continue making videos and uh provide you with some cool footage and i think the fishing footage is going to be awesome and the reason why is i'm going to be fishing new places all the time it's not just going to be durango and northern New Mexico and in that area, I'm going to be traveling every three months moving to a new spot so I can show you guys what those places are. So the first place I'm going to be, uh, she already took the assignment, um, and we actually moved there in about two weeks, okay? So give me a couple weeks before I start making videos. Um, I'll try to keep you updated along the way of what we're doing, kind of like these kind of videos here, until I actually start making the real videos of fishing and fly tying. But um, we're going to be in... Um, uh, Southern California is the first assignment. Um, it pays really well. And um, the total cost of this RV, excuse me, guys, um, I ate a big breakfast, don't mind me. Um, the 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 cost total cost of this RV plus the RV spot is going to be a total of like about $1,000. Now, housing, and it seems expensive, I know, uh, but housing down in Southern California is like 2800 at least for a studio or like a little tiny one bedroom, um, which is not much more space than this. And in fact, less space in, in some ways than this. And so it's actually saving us about a third of what the costs are going to be. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around a lot, but I'm going to sit here. Um, so we're... We're uh, pretty excited because we'll be able to save a lot of money. That's a savings of almost two grand just doing the RV thing for, you know, three months at a time. And uh, we'll probably get on each other's nerves a little bit. Um, <laughs> I love my kids. They are awesome. But living in a small little confined spot with a five-year-old and a one-year-old, we'll get trying. Okay. Um, so I'm going to also bring you guys along with that. It's not just going to be fishing. Now I'm going to be doing kind of RV living a little bit involved with that. Um, if you guys want, um, I'm happy to work the channel around you guys. So if you guys get annoyed with that kind of footage, let me know, let me know what you guys want for the channel. Um, you know, and I'll try to make that, uh, you know, um, accustomed to you, but I figure you might want to know what it's like to live in an RV with a couple kids. Um, you know, but we're, uh, we're going to test all that out and I think it'll be fun. It's going to be an adventure for sure. If anything else. Um, so by the way, I've got new shirts, um, and sweatshirts. So here's the sweatshirt. Um, I've got my logo on it here. And then on the back is my main logo. It's not coming up really good here only because it's kind of dark in here. And also there's a dark shirt with a black print, right? So, um, you know, but it, but they're nice and it's subtle and it shows up still and they're really comfy. By the way, these sweatshirts, they're $30 for the sweatshirt. Um, just full disclosure, I make, uh, I think $7 on the sweatshirts, but the inside of it is nice and fuzzy. It's super warm. Um, it was 32 degrees last night and I stepped out for a minute to go get stuff from the car, um, in the middle of the night that I forgot to bring in and, 
it wasn't bad, um, even at 32 degrees. And it's humid here. It's in Napa, California. It's like 90% humidity last night. Uh, so, but I didn't feel like it chilled me to the bone. This actually kept me semi-warm. So it's a warm one. Uh, but I also was in uh, 60 degree weather with it and I wasn't feeling overly hot. So it's, it's, it's a good regulating uh, temperature sweatshirt. I really like this sweatshirt. Um, I also have shirts, uh, long sleeves, short sleeve t-shirts. Um, they're not the sun shirts, but I am still selling those sun shirts, by the way. Uh, see if I can find that shirt. Well, shoot. I think I lost that shirt. I haven't even worn it yet. <laughs> um, so it was a long sleeve t-shirt. Um, and I figured perfect for my fishing. Um, but, uh, it's same thing it has this and then the logo on the back. Let me see if I can show you that logo. I'll go to the mirror in here. And uh, there you go, you can see. So it's just like that. Um, all the shirts are that way. Um, I also have some other design shirts, like um, there's one with a, right in front, it's got a, uh, um, you know, different flies, like there's one with a streamer and whatnot. And then there's one that's like a trout with like a, um, uh, pattern under it, under it that's, uh, you know, like of a lake or whatever. Um, it's just a whole bunch of really, really nice shirts that I'm selling. I also have hats that I'm selling. So I'm going to put in this video, if you guys want to pick those up, I'm going to put links in the description section. Those help me out. So a lot of you, when I quit the channel had said, well, why don't you start like a Patreon? You know, I'll, I'll donate, um, you know, to be able to keep you going. And I've got 20,000 subscribers, so I don't expect everyone to donate. But, you know, I mean, even if only 10% donate out of 20,000 subscribers, if you all donate a dollar, uh, we're talking, um, you know, two grand, which is more than enough money for me to keep the channel going and support the family and whatnot. But I didn't want to, I don't want to just take your guys' money. I want the channel to be 100% free. But I figured if I'm selling things that you guys can use, like shirts like this and sweatshirts and, and whatnot, so next time you guys need to buy, you know, a shirt or you need to buy a hat, um, think of mine, you know, and pick mine up and that'll help support the channel. Um, you know, I make about five bucks per, per shirt and uh, $7 per sweatshirt. And I think like five bucks per hat or so. Um, don't quote me on exacts, but I think that's roughly about what I make on it. Um, and the costs really aren't bad. Like I said, $30 for the sweatshirt. I think it's uh, $17 for the t-shirts starting, um, depending on which shirt that you get. And uh, I think the most that they go up to is like $21 or something like that. It's not that bad, um, considering that most shirts that you're buying are going to be, um, you know, more than that. So I try to keep the cost down. I was able to actually drop how much I make per shirt um, to be able to get that cost down for you guys. But um, that way you guys can help support the channel like a lot of you wanted to um, also and in return get some really awesome gear um, and they are really high quality um, the shirts are high quality that like I said this sweatshirt is actually the nicest sweatshirt I've ever owned uh, the hats are really cool um, and I don't have one yet because I'm waiting this is not the hat <laughs> by the way um, I'm waiting for them to ship me it um, it literally just came out yesterday uh, available so I had designed it before I left um, for this trip to go pick up the RV. So I rented a car in Durango and drove out to Napa and picked, you know, to be able to pay for this RV and I'm going to drive back. Um, and I'm actually going to drive it to the first place that we're going. Cause we actually, she starts her contract in about 10 days. So I'm going to drive it down there, rent another car, go back home, get the family, bring them back. Okay. So it's been a gauntlet of a, <laughs> of a trip, but, uh, I think well worth it at least this go around. So next time we'll be able to drive this RV and it'll be um, um, a lot easier than having to do all that back and forth one, now that we own it. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So if you guys want to pick up those shirts, um, by the way, I'm also selling flies. Now I've got a lot of orders that come in. So um, I had let a lot of people know on my Instagram, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, do it. Um, you know, I do a lot of, a lot more updates on there. It's easier to just kind of, you know, take a picture or something and upload it than a whole video. I don't have to edit it at all. And I do a lot of that. Um, you know, a lot of times when a new fly is coming out, I'll, I'll just upload a picture of that fly in a day or two before. Um, so that way you guys know what fly is coming out. Um, and then you know what I'm going to, you know, for the video, what I'm going to be tying. So you know if you want to watch the video or not. Um, 
and uh, but I, I let everyone know on Instagram that follows me on Instagram and uh, that that I'm starting the channel again and also that I'm selling stuff so I already actually sold a couple hats because um, I let everyone know yesterday that I was selling hats and I already had uh, two purchased so thank you to those uh, to you two um, that bought um, and I actually have one for myself that's coming and it should come hopefully before I leave on my trip. Uh, my neighbor was sweet enough. Um, by the way, I sold the uh, my Subaru to her because we only need one car. So we've got the the um, Honda still um, and the CRV, which is actually perfect because it can be flat towed by this. So I'll have to set that up at one point, be able to flat tow it. I don't have all the tow gear yet for it. I will do that after the first contract to make sure that we like <laughs> all this. But um, we're, uh, yeah, I sold that uh, Subaru to my neighbor um, and she's gonna help me out. She's taking our keys to our house and she's gonna check in with the house for the first uh, couple weeks until we get the thing rented. So we already have it uh, set up for renting. Um, now, if you guys, any of you live in, in Durango, if any of you are looking for a house to rent, um, uh, I'm happy to rent it to you, let me know. Um, I'd rather rent to one of you than some random person through the rental agency that is gonna charge me extra too. Um, so it's a three bedroom home. Um, the going rate around there is about 16, 1700 a month. And so I'm looking for something around 1500 a month. I think that's a good going rate. It's a little less than what my mortgage is, but I'm happy to rent it out. Uh, I'm not trying to sell you on something guys, sorry, just talking off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, uh, really exciting. I'm, I'm just really excited for this. Um, and uh, I'll be able to store, because fly, fly rods are small, I'll be able to store those. I've already got a spot set up that I can store it. Uh, you know, I'm going to bring a couple each trip because I'll know what you know type of fishing in that area. Uh, Southern California is going to be a lot of ocean fishing, a lot of uh, saltwater stuff. Uh, calico bass, sand bass, uh, barracuda, even yellowtail more kind of pushing towards the summer where the last part of the contract is going to be May. Um, so hopefully I can hit some yellowtail. That'll be fun and some tuna. Uh, that would be a blast. Um, also, guys, um, I had been looking for a long time for a company to sponsor me. Now you guys know that I'm really particular on on um, like uh, fly gear. You know uh, that I am uh, advertising. I don't want to sell you guys junk. I I mean I'm not selling it, but I want to advertise a company that has junk. I want to make sure that they're high quality stuff I would use. But also a good price. That's why I've never really kind of pushed Sage, which are great rods. I'm not saying anything bad about it, but Sage Orvis, you know, the higher end ones that have $900 rods. I've got a couple and I've talked about them, but I just don't push that. And I refuse to because it's just so expensive, um, depending on what type of fishing you're doing. Um, so I found this company. Um, it's called Risen Fly Rods. And they're, uh, they love the channel. Um, I talked for a couple hours with the guy, um, letting him know I'm re kicking off my channel, but I am looking for a company to sponsor me. So they're going to sponsor me. They're going to actually help me, um, help basically pay, uh, you know, for videos. But what I like about them is that he knows that I'm not going to only use them and I'm not going to, um, he's not paying me for free, uh, to lie basically. Um, so uh, I told him that I've got to be fully honest. So if I don't like your fly rod, if it's not a good rod, if you come out with a brand new reel or a brand new rod or a line and I don't like it, I'm going to tell my subscribers. I, I refuse. I refuse. And that's something I've done since the beginning. I will not lie. Um, I will tell exactly what my thoughts are on it, uh, no matter um, if a company decides to pay me or not. Now, I've never taken payments yet until now, but this is something that I am taking. Now, it's, again, I promise you guys 100%. I'm not gonna lie, these are, I've already tested them. They're great rods. Um, he sent me one, um, I'm excited to use it. He also sells uh, really high quality hooks for a really good price. So I'm gonna um, uh, start using those and really put them through the ringer to make sure that, you know, uh, they are really high quality, but they but they are. Um, I actually, um, really grinded into them to find out exactly where they're produced and actually one of the major brands that sells them for like seven eight dollars for 25 hooks um the major major brands 
um, he has them produced in the same factory, the same exact hook, basically, same quality, same everything as those major brands, and he sells them, I think, th roughly the average cost is about three to 350 per 25, which is a great price. So that company, Risen Fly Rod, go check them out. I'll put their link in the description section as well. Um, awesome, awesome company, and really one of the nicest guys, the owner I talked to for, like I said, hours, and really nice guy. They have a lifetime warranty on their fly rods, and their fly rods are anywhere from 100 to $250. They're not super expensive. I mean, they're not cheapo Walmart rods, but again, you get high quality. I and mean, really, in reality, they're they're like the $800, $700, $600 rods out there, um, but with a you know much lower cost. Um, his overhead is not the same, and he uh, he tries to keep his costs low, just like I I'm trying to do with my my shirts. I mean, I could sell these jack uh, that what Teespring, the company I go through, recommended that I sell these for forty dollars. And I was like, no, absolutely not. I'm selling them for, for uh, $30 because, you know, and then I, I make less money. But they recommended me make $15, $20 on, on the jacket, on the sweatshirt, and sell them at that, and I refused. Because I want to make sure they're good quality, uh, a good price. Same quality, but good price for you guys. And the same thing with Risen Fly Rods. I talked to him for hours on that, and that's just what his passion is, is fly fishing. And he wanted to provide something cheap. Uh, not cheap, wrong word inexpensive but high quality not cheaply made but cheap in a price right so um so uh something that you could use whether you're brand new in fly fishing or been fishing for years i mean you um i really can't tell the difference between some of my really high-end rods and his they're really good quality okay so again just uh i this is a full i know it's a long video guys um thanks for sticking it out um, but I really wanted to kind of tell you everything that's going on, okay? And uh, I'm really excited about this new venture and this new, um, you know, version of this channel. Um, I am keeping all the old videos, so you can always go back and watch it. Um, and I want you guys to be involved. So again, check me out on Instagram. Follow me there. You can actually message me on there. Um, again, I've got 20,000 subscribers, guys. So if I don't get back to you right away, um, it's not that I'm trying to ignore you. I'm just really busy, okay? Um, <laughs> uh, if 20,000 subscribers message me once a month, I've got 20,000 emails to, um, or messages on Instagram to reply to once a month. Um, it's a lot. So if I don't get back to you right away, I apologize. Okay. But I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And I'm going to take everyone's consideration on what they think with the channel and how I'm doing it. Um, the new version of the channel. I mean, a lot of it's going to be the same, but there's going to be a little extras of kind of living day to day with the kids and, and you might see some of the nitty gritty inside that the place of you know us getting frustrated with um, the size of a you know smaller RV. You know, I mean it's a 31 foot, it's a big RV, but the size of living in a confined space altogether. You might see some of that. Um, you know, I just want to make this open and real, um, fully real, not reality show fake real, but real. That's really what my channel's all about. The real thing. I've never edited out any mistakes I've made, um, and I never will. Um, it's going to be real. This is not contrived. This is what the channel's about. It's fully real. Um, yeah. I'm excited to get back, guys. I keep saying that, but I really am. I missed you all. Um, I missed doing the channel. Um, it's just, uh, for two and a half years, it was part of my life. I'm just so excited to be back. So I will check you out in the next video about two weeks from now, guys, maybe three. Give me a little time here, um, but I will be back. Um, I'm excited. So say hi. Um, put your message in the description section. I'm sorry, in the comment section. Check the description section for all the links of my, my shirts and hats. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I just drove forever to get here. So don't mind me. I'm making mistakes of what I'm saying here and whatnot, but um yeah check out the description section buy some shirts from me please they're very nice buy some hats um and uh also check out risen fly fly reels their um fly company or whatever he calls it um very good company i'll put that link in the description section too um and i will see you guys in a couple weeks go catch some fish